I am looking for higher prices to come on Bitcoin and in this video I will be explaining exactly where I'm looking for next above us and the reasons why behind this bias that I have. Uh, we are five seconds away from New York Open, so I thought this would be a perfect time to start this video. Okay, why? Because we can record exactly what's happening during New York Open, a few little tactics that I have uh, generally for trading New York Open. So uh, yeah, I think that this is going to be a great video and I hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. So uh, we have now just opened New York, 2.30 uk time okay so what i'm generally looking for on the new york open is for an initial move uh, either up or down and then looking to trade that as a reversal okay so if we get a bit of a dump in new york open i will look to buy that up and if we get a big pump during new york open then i will look to short that okay so far in the open of course very flat but this is because also today uh we can see es and nq well currently Flat. we can see how they progress a little bit of a move to the upside on nq es will follow obviously bitcoin will be looking to follow um so yeah if we can make our way up during the initial balance which is the first hour of new york session uh i would look towards this daily naked point of control okay that for me is the next area um of interest for myself okay for me this is a level that i would of course trade the reaction as always what do i mean by that i mean have your alert set at the level when that alert goes off check the order flow okay so we'll start to look at things such as the delta the trade count the open interest okay the volume behind that move and make the informed decision of do we test sixty-three thousand again give or take a few hundred dollars of this daily naked point of control do we test that with a bearish reaction well if so of course i will look to take a short trade on bitcoin alternatively we do get strength throughout the session going into Asia, and we actually reclaim $63,000 current resistance, but we flip it into support. So we trade above the level and we start to flip that into support. Then I do feel that we can, of course, be looking then towards really $65,000 next, so another few thousand dollars. And that could come very quickly indeed, right? Okay, what we have to understand is the reaction, of course, is key. If we do get the flip of that level, then it would be expected to get quick continuation to the upside. So a few thousand dollars is not out the realm of, you know, wow, that's crazy. Now, it would be fairly standard behavior here on Bitcoin. Again, also depending on how we see the stocks going. So those would be my next levels to the upside and where... At the moment, I am not in a short trade on Bitcoin. Why? Because, well, I am expecting higher prices to come, right? I am in longs and yeah, I, I, I'm happily right now uh, looking for higher prices. And again, next level for me, $63,000. And that's my level, uh, which is absolutely key. Okay, so I am in this video bullish. I am expecting higher prices to come. But I want to make this clear because if we come up and we tap 63,000 and we get a bearish rejection so that's not just visually but also with the order flow I will take a short trade and you have to understand I could be bullish looking for higher uh in no shorts in long trades today we come up and we hit 63,000 tomorrow and then in a few days I can come and make a video saying hey I'm now bearish I'm in a short trade on Bitcoin and that's because we rose to my target we rejected from the target and I took a short at that target okay so it's very under you have to really understand how you know one day such as today I can be bullish and then a few days later I can be bearish that is simply because I am trading the charts off of my targets and predictions right of course again if we flip 63 into support I'll continue in my long snow shorts looking for the next level above us, which for me to sit towards 65. So then below us, what we have is a little bit more interesting, right? Of course, over the past uh, week or so, we have built ourselves up very nicely from the original fake out at $49,000, which as you know, if you've been following along, I did call that very nicely. OK, and over the past few videos, even here on YouTube, I made it clear as we were going up in this section from the original call uh, prediction of the low. OK, I did call that forty nine thousand dollars would be the low. Right. And from there, we obviously built our way up. And in the last video, I made it clear I was waiting to see 58K taken out. Of course, that prediction was correct. We took out 50K. I told my team I'm not taking any short trades off of taking out $58,000. Wanted to see the naked point of control tested. We went on to test that naked point of control. And then again, I confirmed to my team I have not taken a short yet. So again, I'm all about trading the reaction. Had that level of interest. We get to that level. And again, there's no hindsight here. Live in the time, you can see there's no delay here. As soon as it's happening, I'm telling my team straight away, well, we've tapped that naked point of control, but I am not shorting Bitcoin just as I didn't short at 58, 
I'm not shorting now at the naked point of control. I want to see us head towards $60,000. And what we done actually then is we flipped then a very important level for me, which is the anchored view app from the high. OK, of the downtrends, we flipped that perfectly into support, which aided us then for a very quick move from 59,400 all the way to our current high, of course, at 62, around 62,700, the previous month view app. So very technical uh, trading, if I'm totally honest with you, these are very, very technical moves. Everything, uh, you know, you can foresee happening in terms of the support levels holding as support, resistance levels, well, actually getting broken and flipped to support. It just made the process very easy holding these trades, right, from 58,000, judging the reaction, understanding to not short, look for higher each step of the way. And that brings us up to where we are here. OK, so let's just see this on New York Open, of course, a little bit of a reversal. So we had the, an initial move up reversal. The same here on the ES initial move up, take out these highs reversal. And that will be the same on the NQ as well. Right. Take out these highs, even more liquidity on the NQ. Right. ES didn't quite make it above this high. You can see on the NQ Nasdaq deck, uh, uh, obviously taking out the high here, local high reversal. So, yeah, you can see on the initial, literally on the open there, one minute later, taking the high reversal is a downside so you can just see a little bit in play now how you can start with an initial move reversal especially when you come up against liquidity like that uh bitcoin yeah no, nothing of the such but nevertheless it's just something to be aware of and that's just a little little tip that i can give you there that was a very small minuscule move up against what we can get on a lot of days so yeah no, nothing really to take away there to be honest but um yeah, if what I'm looking for next, of course, is uh, too, too long a dip if we do get a nice significant dip to the downside. So I've explained where I'm looking for my shorts. I explained my thought process at the moment. And so in terms of long trades, this is where it's fairly... Um, you know, you have to understand I'm think approaching this here is more of a swing trade scenario. So, of course, locally, we have a little range low there around 60,000. Of course, you can look for longs at top 59,000. So that's more the sculpt trades, day trades perspective, right? I'm approaching this more of the swing trades. And honestly, a dip all the way down to $54,000 is something that I would enjoy, that I would like, because I feel that is a significant dip of interest, okay, for a major, uh, you know, potential swing long trades course um unlikely to be honest that we hit fifty four thousand dollars today and that's why you would have to get more aggressive if you're interested in longs okay locally up to the next target okay so that's like the way that i approach it when we have more of a conservative swing trade uh, level of interest which is 54k but then having to understand it's very unlikely that we hit that today so if we're looking for longs today we have to be more aggressive which means you know looking at more intraday perspectives here locally towards the uh top area of fifty nine thousand dollars. so uh yeah overall this video for me was explanation of explaining you know how the updates from the last video we each step of the way remain calm collect not taking short trades looking for higher prices at each level that we tapped you know i update the team and let them know exactly what i'm doing there okay uh so of course if you want those type of updates then that's what you can get via chart champions and then of course in this video i've gone on to explain why i do still look for higher prices i am uh looking to long the dip again there is a difference between aggressively longing the dip here locally and more conservative which i class as an amazing opportunity and i will end with the final um you know little bit of an announcement here that of course we are well myself anyway i am now doing quicker updates okay so here on youtube what i'm doing an update once or twice a week but of, well, of course every single day i'm in the discord all day every day but a little bit of more public free content i have started to produce some videos on uh, tiktok so if you do have tiktok you can follow us over on here right i'm giving updates on trades explaining why i'm bullish on bitcoin uh so i'm starting to do more trading related content here and i know not everybody has tiktok so i'm also posting them over on uh the instagram too which is on both just chart champions chart champions make sure you follow the real account and i will say this be aware of scammers dming you okay there's a lot of people pretending to be me pretending to be people that work for me so just be very cautious uh don't click on any random links make sure you're on the official page ignore all the dms from scammers that will undoubtedly try and contact you just 
just be safe you know use your common sense and uh, you know i'm not going to be reaching out to anyone on dms okay so uh yeah these are just places that you come and follow along for, for some more trading updates okay as well again i will say this if you want the more in real time trading updates on significant levels if you want the live trading or if you want the whole of the educational library as well right that's what you get via the membership at chartchampions.com right this is the whole one-stop shop for everything that you need trading related from the education to the live trading and the updates of course along the way so yeah if that sounds interesting you know where to get more if you've enjoyed this video you can hit that like button if you would be ever so kind and feel this would help out one of your friends and family share the video with them i do obviously believe in our content and what we are doing here is helpful of course, you have to have a base understanding, but if you can take the insights and some of the levels that I'm sharing here, I do know that it can absolutely increase your level of trading and win rates. So, uh, yeah, I am summary looking for a dip to add to my long trades uh, to take it up to the next target of 63,000. We have the more aggressive levels locally, bigger dip target. And uh, yeah, that for me is all under the um, perspective long in the dip until we hit that next major target 63. I have so much liquidity there. I do feel it is going to be tapped. It's just a matter of when. And that's why I will uh, aggressively and more conservatively, conservatively long the dip on Bitcoin up to that target. Where I will then trade the reaction. So yeah, now you know. Thank you ever so much. If you want more, you know where to get it. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.